Hey everyone, it's Dustin here, the Pro Picker. So first off, just wanted to say Happy Veterans Day from an Army veteran here myself. Just wanted to say if you're currently serving or have served, thank you. Winter becomes thrift store season for me. There's no yard sales. Definitely no yard sales as Ohio winters are pretty cold. With that, I definitely hit up the thrift stores pretty pretty regularly. And I'm going to have to say that this thrift store season has been starting off with a bang. The next few videos just going to be pretty wild. With that, let's just go ahead and get right into it. Here I am going to the first of three stores, one of my local Goodwills. So make sure to stay till the end, watch till the end, because I will be doing a breakdown on everything that I purchased today and what I think an estimate is that will, of what I'll make on it. So the first thing I do find is this Zuma's Revenge. It's not a crazy heavy hitter, but it hits that $12 mark, $12, $13 that I need to be at for a $2.99 video game. All the games at this store are $2.99 flat, but I see this from a distance, so I head right to it. It's this Yakima Fullback 3. It's a three bike trunk rack. and. There's a brand new sold comp there for $279.99. They have this for $59.99. And I believe it's gonna cost me about $50 to ship via UPS. It is brand new in box. There are no brand new ones listed right now. So we're getting it listed up today. And I think we'll be able to ask 300. That's gonna be my attempt at it. There is a pre-owned one right now for 189 listed. That would be my only competition for this model, but an absolute awesome score. I know it's gonna sell fast. The sell through on it's pretty incredible actually. All of the other pre-owns are sold and there's a couple brand news that have sold in the last 90 days. So definitely happy to start the day off with that. Moving on to the next door here, the Salvation Army in between the two Goodwills that I normally go to, I don't believe was open yet. So I do go ahead and head on over uh, to this Goodwill. I see that they have a stack of CDs. I'm looking at them while I'm chatting with Mary here, who's a regular. I do grab a few video games here. They had the show 21 and uh, Infinite Warfare did not end up being worth it. So I do end up putting that back. I do see a copy of NASCAR 14, which is barely worth it at $3.99. I do scan through some of these CDs. This Operation Ivy is apparently worth like 30 bucks or a little bit more when it's in that um, cardboard paper case. So I do grab that, of course, even at $1.99, which is kind of steep for CDs. That one's pretty decent. Inside the show though, unfortunately, was Call of Duty Modern Warfare loose disc. It could be worse, I guess. $18.99 to 20 bucks there. And I don't find any vinyl disco around, but in a future video, you're gonna see a ton of vinyl, so make sure to subscribe to see that. <laughs> Let me have a little bit. I gotta make oh, this I'm, month's rent. What are you talking about? Uh, right, Mr. Garrett. Probably have more money than me. Yeah, right. <laughs> You're a young man, you got a long time to make you, more. Well, you've had years to save up. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna listen to you. That's pretty good. I gotta, I gotta shut up on that one. <laughs> you know, we're gonna start having to have our own gardens. Sealed. Oh god! If I put in that clip. From just a second ago, people are gonna be like, you're so insensitive. <laughs> it's always fun seeing Mary there and getting to joke around a little bit. I head into the Salvation Army and I do make some pretty awesome finds here. Right off the bat, I see this King's Quest V by Sierra. It's a PC game. Sierra was a the uh, developer and publisher on the PC for quite some time in the 90s and made some pretty awesome games. That one I think goes for about 12 bucks if I remember offhand, so not a bad pickup, but this is crazy. So they have this Eco B4 here and this thing's probably gonna go for around 130 plus shipped. Uh, I'm paying $20 on it. Uh, it is pre-owned. 
This Magnavox DVD recorder is going in the cart for 15. It'll sell for 65 shipped. It's actually gonna be kind of a light ship because it's not a very heavy unit and it won't be hard to pack up. The uh, Eco B here, I do make sure to inventory. It's a little bit dirty and I'm gonna have to figure out some kind of way to test it. I don't know. You tech people tell me if I can take a multimeter to this bad boy and figure it out, figure out if it's good to go. I might just have to hook it up and see. We don't have a smart thermostat at this house. At our last house, we did have a nest that we installed. I also picked up this Braun Oral-B uh, toothbrush timer. It was a bad clip, so I'm just showing you now. I paid $1.99 for it. I go over here, uh, chat with her for a minute. I like to chat with the thrift store employees. Um, she's really nice. And I do have a stack of uh, Blu-rays here to look through now <laughs> while I'm chatting. Nothing crazy here, but they are like 99 cents a piece. They're all brand new sealed, which means they'll be great stocking stuffers. So easy sales on eBay and uh, save her a little time from having to uh, go stock those. So that's nice. I don't know, should I have gotten that Spice Girls magazine? But yeah, I'm not gonna make a fortune on these Blu-rays, but again, super, super easy lists and uh, definitely won't have any trouble flipping these during Q4. Just thought this cable promotional towel was neat. I didn't buy it. However, I do end up getting this. So this is a 1996 Star Wars E11 Stormtrooper blaster and this should sell for roughly 70 plus ship there. And they have $5.99 on it. I actually picked up another one of these over the weekend uh, prior to this for a dollar at an estate sale. So it's just kind of funny uh, I ran into uh, that. Another reseller tipped me off to this. Um, it actually goes for about $50 to $60 shipped. I'm not going to try and pronounce the company. Got his hat on. Is it warm? It is not cold like that. Stop playing. You just doing that for show. <laughs> he ain't playing. He's stepping. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. Huh? It look nice on you, though. Is that hat warm? Yeah, it is. I, I know that. that. Oh, it's a little toy blaster. Somebody used to put one that was long and heavy. Oh, okay. That's like, like a Star a Wars. That heavy. <laughs> yeah, it's like a Star Wars blaster. Oh, okay. Oh, that would be, uh... I don't need me. <laughs> a little bit high. <laughs> I was about to say, Dustin came in here and spent up everything, boy. That's okay, I, 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 I'd have to get some more stuff for 1500 <laughs> <laughs> Have a blessed day. Yeah, you too. Bye, my bag. Oh, no worries. I'm like afternoon. <laughs> I kept the next customer. All right, guys, so I had some fun on Tuesday going out to those three thrift shops. Managed to find a ton of stuff, got to chat with a couple, uh, two or three different resellers from the area and a lot of different thrift store employees, which I'm really, uh, if anything, a lot of people say I have great thrift stores, and I do, but I think uh, the people there are just awesome at all of the thrift shops I visit, so couldn't ask for more pleasant experiences, I guess, as I ramble here. So I want to get into this uh, pretty quickly here. We ha uh, I did promise a profit breakdown on everything. So out of everything that I picked up, we're going to look at a total list price of $817.04. And I'm totally not holding a notebook off to the side. And for shipping, I estimated roughly $134. And this is no coincidence, but my cost of goods sold um, came out to $134.96. And for eBay fees, roughly 13%. We're looking at $106.22. 
So that's gonna turn a pre-tax profit of $441.86, which I think is pretty awesome because I was only out for like two or three hours. So that's a pretty good return on time. Of course, that doesn't include the time that I'm gonna be spending cleaning, getting all the stickers off, processing, taking pictures, listing the items, and dealing with customer service issues, storing the items, taking the items out, shipping the items and uh, fulfilling them, and dealing with any after customer service issues. Um, there's a few other things. Of course, this is just kind of rough estimates to give you an idea of what I might make on a day of thrifting. However, and, and the day of work afterwards that it takes to uh, get everything together, eventually to fulfill the orders. However, it, it doesn't take into account things like I am gonna get returns and sometimes I'm gonna have to eat the shipping on said returns. Occasionally, I will be, uh, I will have to deal with fraud issues um, from customers and sometimes I'll just have to eat that or I'll have to get into a protracted fight um, with uh, customer service with eBay to get everything handled. Sometimes they're pretty good about it, honestly, but it is still time that I'm spending on it. And those are a couple things that I don't really take into account, but they do exist. And some of these items are gonna go later within like a couple months, three months, four months, and they'll fall into my 5% off and 10% off sales. And a lot of these I'll also send out offers on. So that's just something to uh, take into account that I'm not necessarily just like getting these items and instantly turning my $135 into 450 bucks. It just doesn't work that way. If it did, everybody would do this <laughs> for sure. So just wanted to throw out some facts there for you guys. And I'm, I'm telling you, um, I've went out thrifting the last couple days. So Wednesday and Thursday here and the finds have been pretty awesome. So the future videos thus are gonna be pretty awesome. It's not just gonna be like, hey, I picked up a couple $10 video games. That's it. They're pretty good haul hauls and pretty sizable hauls. Different stuff too than uh, I'll normally source. At least some of it is. I did end up going back to Valley Thrift Store today. As you know, my previous video was their 25% off customer appreciation day. Well, I went back for their half off day and it was pretty good. And it was half off based off of it being Veterans Day. So I thought that was pretty cool. So stay tuned for that video. And I still need to get you guys the negative feedback video where I dealt with not one, not two, not three, but four negative feedbacks that happened within about a week, week and a half. And I dealt with all four of those successfully. I'll help walk you guys through that or through all of that very shortly, I promise. And with that, guys, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you so much for watching. As always, uh, make sure that you're subscribed and you have the bell notifications turned on. Hit the like button, please. It helps me out a ton. And uh, follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Pro Picker Ohio, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye.